My fellow Americans, tonight I want to speak with you about our nation's unprecedented response to the coronavirus outbreak. Today, the World Health Organization officially announced that this is a global pandemic. This is the most aggressive and comprehensive effort to confront a foreign virus in modern history. From the beginning of time, nations and people have faced unforeseen challenges, including large-scale and very dangerous health threats. This is the way it always was and always will be. It only matters how you respond, and we are responding with great speed and professionalism. I have decided to take several strong but necessary actions to protect the health and well-being of all Americans. To keep new cases from entering our shores, we will be suspending all travel from Europe to the United States for the next 30 days. Earlier this week, I met with the leaders of health insurance industry who have agreed to waive all co-payments for coronavirus treatments, extend insurance coverage to these treatments, and to prevent surprise medical billing. The vast majority of Americans, the risk is very, very low. Young and healthy people can expect to recover fully and quickly if they should get the virus. The highest risk is for elderly population with underlying health conditions. To ensure that working Americans impacted by the virus can stay home without fear of financial hardship, I will soon be taking emergency action, which is unprecedented, to provide financial relief. I will be instructing the Treasury Department to defer tax payments without interest or penalties for certain individuals and businesses negatively impacted. Finally, I am calling on Congress to provide Americans with immediate payroll tax relief. Hopefully, they will consider this very strongly. We are all in this together. We must put politics aside, stop the partisanship, and unify together as one nation and one family. As history has proven time and time again, Americans always rise to the challenge and overcome adversity. Our future remains brighter than anyone can imagine. Acting with compassion and love, we will heal the sick, care for those in need, help our fellow citizens, and emerge from this challenge stronger and more unified than ever before. God bless you, and God bless America. Thank you. Amazing, right? Thank you, sir. Now, you just heard, Daddy? Calm, laying it out for you. Don't freak out. Here's what we know about the situation. Uh, here's what we got to do right now. You would think, wow, Daddy, you're so smart. Thank you, Daddy. And, and Mama would jump in and help, right? Because she loved the father, loved the husband. I mean, he laid it out so nice. You would think that, and as he said, take the politics out of this for more reason than one. But one number reason that the people can know what the real deal is, because the Democrats are still using this as a political issue to try to destroy the president. To try to get back at the president, they're putting your lives at risk. They're trying to still take over the country to control you. Isn't that a shame? They have no love, folks. They don't want daddy light to shine. That's why they're overreacting. So you just heard the president for yourself. So think for yourself. Don't listen to the fake so-called experts. It's made up. 